Hey friends, I am here in the garden and I am gonna show you how to support your tomato plants without those tomato cages. It is far, far easier than it may seem to do it this way. Basically what I do, and it's all in the blog post, but you can see it firsthand here, is that I'm utilizing stakes to stake the tomatoes and each one of them, and they're all in a line. And then I have these larger T posts that are driven into the ground. And then I utilize all that. And what I do is each one of these plants is basically connected to the stake, as you can see, at these different points. And then I have actually woven this cotton thread. I've also used hemp. There's all sorts of different things you can do, but I like to use something that's compostable afterwards so I don't have to think about it I just wind it back up I can just cut it and compost it with the plants themselves so basically what I do is I start at one end and if like you want to follow me so I start here on this side of the fence for us you could do it however you want you could have a t-post here and then what I do is I weave th like this all the way through the tomatoes around each tomato plant just like you would be weaving anything that you've ever woven before if you have any experience with that and then when i come back i weave the opposite way and what i like about utilizing these teeth posts is that they have these like notches on them so it gives you a little extra support and i like wood stakes because they have a texture to them which will catch that string as well so it makes it really easy and then i just prune really tightly with all my plants. Obviously, if they're determinates, then you can kind of stop pruning the suckers at a certain point. But you can see here, like this is a really good example. This is a determinate tomato. This is a sucker. This is an additional leaf. This additional leaf is not actually necessary after a certain point. At this point where it's at the top of the plant, I would leave it. But then later, like down here, like this leaf, for instance, isn't really necessary or branch. Same thing here. It has enough. The tomato does not need that to continue photosynthesis, to continue fruiting, all of that. So you can actually get rid of these. So I come through basically every couple of weeks and I get rid of those excessive leaves that it really doesn't need so that these fruit, as you can see, are completely exposed. They're, you can see them very easily you can keep track if there's hornworms like all of it is completely accessible to you but as you can see here i've done it i've pruned that lower leaf and left the sucker since this is a determinant on an indeterminate what you're going to want to do this is not it let's see here we go we got a cherry here this is an ind it's a sun gold it is an indeterminate this guy is going to continue to make these suckers over and over and over again. And this guy will get like 20 feet if I let him. And if our growing season would go all the way through December, it does not. So what you want to do is you want to tell it where the leads are and where you want it to go. So you can kind of control those suckers and remove them as you see fit. You do not have to keep all of them because this thing will just continue to produce fruit over and over and over again. So these guys need a little more control the other guys don't need as much but like i said fewer leaves are actually okay and you're not going to ruin the plant just make sure it has enough to photosynthesize photosynthesize but it doesn't need a ton so you can be a little bit more intense about that and i actually have a video that i'm gonna a bonus video this week with one of our members who let me actually help her prune back her tomatoes and you guys can see how we did it and the final results. So I'm excited to share that one tomorrow. So stay tuned. Till then, if you have any questions, we can do that. Actually, let me show you companion planting in action right now since we're already here, we're already doing this video. Um, so in this row, you can kind of see how I've done this, like where there is borage, parsley, marigolds, basil, all on this side. Then, if you come around this way, mm. 
you can see that I continue to have all the marigolds, basil, borage, all these things with the tomatoes through the center. And then I have some carrots that are lining this. And I'm about to plant a second round of these carrots so that we have some more coming in now that we're reaching into the middle to end of July right now. So you can kind of see how it's actually functioning here in action. And so far so good. I have found the cocoons from the hornworms, but I have yet to find a hornworm knock on wood. So it's working in my opinion. So we shall see. As always, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next week.